one, two, three, four. We don't want your fucking wars. Five, six, seven, eight. Organize and demonstrate. Five, six, seven, eight. Organize and demonstrate. Audrey, in her quiet way, brought together aesthetics and politics in a most beautiful way. Oh, awesome. First through her own still photography. And then through the film we made together about Hiroshima. That was her idea. It's called No More Hiroshima. It was 1986 when there was a big conference at the United Nations about disarmament to which survivors of the Hiroshima bomb were invited. So we went to Hiroshima and chose characters that were going to this conference. The flash of the bomb destroyed my eyesight. And as I was later told, I was lying under the debris of the collapsed building for two days. Americans must reflect seriously upon the fact they dropped the nuclear bomb on human beings for the first time in history. Besides, they dropped it on civilians and children. I think this is an indelible stain on the history of mankind. We had little Nicholas with us on that trip. He was about six or eight months old, traveling on Audrey's back. He really made it possible to make that film because his presence opened up all kinds of doors for us. Got us immediately good reception wherever we went. The peace movement in the U.S. organized the biggest peace demonstration ever held anywhere in the U.S. A million people came out for this enormous parade up Fifth Avenue and Broadway, ending in Central Park. When the Hibakusha in Hiroshima found out about this, they decided they wanted to have a delegation taking part in this. So they arranged for about 300 survivors of the Hiroshima bomb to show up in that march. The 6th of August, 1945, I became one of the victims of the first atomic attack in the history of the world. I am here to make an appeal for the total elimination of nuclear weapons and the banning of limited nuclear war. That's one of the most important films I've made. This is another picture of someone who died instantly. This is a back. It's been used by the peace movement considerably, both in Canada and the US. That, to me, is the proud example of how important Audrey was in my life as a filmmaker. It was a film that we made together and it has had the biggest success of any film I've made. <laughs>